Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. Bismillahi min ash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Wa atiya Allah wa atiya Rasul wa ulul amri minkum. And a reminder for myself and Abdukullah Jisu da'ifu, miskinu, zalimu, jahad. And by the grace of Allah that we are still in existence and that this path of ours that Allah dress us and bless us from the knowledges that emanating from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad We talked about the levels of the nafs as we are entering into the cave, this journey every year into the cave of realities, the cave, the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad in the world of light and to reach into that understanding and its secret. And they said for us in the levels of iman, the levels of the nafs that the entry and the majority are amara, that evil is good to them. Then when Allah want to guide the servant and the darajats of guidance, very basic guidance Allah's rahmah take them out of amara into lawama where they have now a consciousness. So we'll Englishize everything, amara evil <laughs> and evil f seems good to these people. They don't think they're doing evil or they would stop it. They actually think that those actions are okay, good, no problem. Lawamma Allah gives you now consciousness that, thumma ammanu, thumma kafaru, one day you believing, next day you're not believing. And we went into all of the descriptions and its understandings. Then mulhamma that now Allah with these shaykhs and we said from Amara and to be lifted up to Lawama through Shawarma because Amara is all fire <laughs> So to be lifted up you know past the Shawarma state of you're just cooking you have to be fed Ilmu Yaqeen. So we remember on our notes this way of rising is only through ilmu yaqeen and ilmu yaqeen basics of fiqr, sharia, holy Qur'an and hadith, its basics is also within the ocean of ilmu yaqeen. Means these knowledges and these realities of Allah has to be dressing the servant to lift them from amara. And as they're going to ascend when Allah says, no there's no guidance except if Allah guides a servant. So nothing you can do that you can seek out and that you could lift yourself out of a hole of difficulty. Allah only gives an initial push when He wants to guide the servant. But Allah when true guidance wants to come must continuously be pushing and pulling that servant out of every type of difficulty. And the sign of a servant being pulled from difficulties if Allah give them access to ilmu yaqeen from ilma laduni wa hikmati bi salihin. Because Allah we get up now and then it'll explain. So knowledge is of certainty that these are not everyday and every occurring knowledges, these are knowledges of malakut and that kulli shay that Allah says, this malakut is all encompassing power. Meaning what? The power of your atomic reality is what controls your form. Your form doesn't control what's inside. Science knows what's inside controls how you're manifesting. If your energy and your atoms are off you're kajakula, you're crippled. So Allah is teaching for us, don't forget your inside, your malakut, your sifat al-rahim 
controls how you manifest under Sifat ar-Rahman. That's why salamun qawlu min Rabbir Raheem that that light, that reality, the inner reality has to be built and has to be brought out. So Amara, shaitan and the nafs have taken the soul hijacked and the soul its image is that it's like they've been kidnapped by demons. It's being quieted, it's not being fed, it's being deprived, it's being abused. But the soul because it's from paradise is naqatullah, it's the camel for us to understand. It can go very long with nothing but what shaitan wants is weaken it, put it in fear, deprive it of anything and any food and rizq from Allah which has to be from malakut. What you feed your body is not what you feed your soul. If it doesn't get its water and it doesn't get its food it begins to die which is energy, which is ilmu yaqeen. Ilmu yaqeen is oceans of power that are coming through. Mulhamma the servant is being taught by these shiyukhs and being taught ilmu yaqeen because at the first state you are eating ilmu yaqeen. We said the analogy of eating means you're being taught knowledges. There's no kebab that comes for light and you eat the light. When they ask for a table from heaven means they are asking for knowledges and divine lights and realities. Every knowledge has a divine qudra and power and light that enters into the soul. They must be eating from those tables. From who? The servants who only want wajallah the face of Allah they feed you. They feed you only for the sake of Allah Means what? That they give their knowledges for the sake of Allah So, mulhamma they're now being inspired. That's why then your hand has to be very, very tight with the shaykh because as you're being inspired your channel's opening. When your channel opening who's there on your opening is ifrits and shayateen. Every type of devil is on your channel. You don't have that energy that pushes them away. As soon as you begin to practice and take this way of ascension you're opening yourself. As soon as you begin to open yourself there's the danger, the great danger of these waswases and you think it's an inspiration from heavens and no it's an inspiration from shayateen. And that's why Allah describes that, when I want to guide you I send you to waliyun murshidun. Means He actually said in the reverse, when I don't want to guide you you'll be denied a waliyun murshidun, you will not have a protecting guide. So murshid will go up to the top, what is Sifat al-Rashid when Allah want to dress His servant to guide people. So means they have no guidance, they'll be left to themselves, they can't be at that state and trying to open and listening to every type of whispering. So then Allah want them to be under tight control of guidance. Don't listen to anything that comes to you, it's all from shaitan. The only thing you listen to is what you've confirmed with your shaykh. Tells you shave yourself, no. It tells you just take your hat off and be humble person, no it's a lie. Tell you take your hijab off you can reach more people. You see now on Facebook and all these people who were Instagram and making millions of people to follow them, follow them, follow them, put makeup and make themselves look like a clown then put hijab and then shaitan told them take your hijab off. Because they followed a munafiq and now millions of people will fall off the cliff because of these people. So it means they're not under the tarbiyah of a guide and the guide would tell them your inspiration is completely incorrect, hold tight, don't pay attention to what's whispering to you, 
because they're going to develop you and your ability to understand good and wrong inspiration. Because this level of ilm al yaqeen is feeding you, you'll be trained now in ayn al yaqeen. And all of ilm al yaqeen, ayn al yaqeen, haqq al yaqeen is the sirr, the seen, the seen, the three woo, woo, of the seen from Yaseen is the sirr, the secret that Allah want to bestow upon insan. Ilm al yaqeen, ayn al yaqeen, haqq al yaqeen, Allah opened for you the sirr, Nur al Anwar, Sirat al Asrar. When Allah want to open the servant, raise the servant, then I want to feed you from ilm al yaqeen. So it means now the sirr is opening to you because the knowledge is of the reality, the highest reality Allah want to teach is Haqiqat al Muhammadiyyah. So now these knowledges are feeding, you're eating in an association, watching a YouTube, you're being fed those haqqaiqs. This level of mulhamma is that and to mutma'inna to be dressed now. You be trained in Ayn al Yaqeen that how to sit, how to contemplate, how to make your connection, to negate yourself, to be nothing and asking, Ya Rabbi open the eyes of my heart. It's not the eyes of the head, it's not to sit and keep thinking through your eyes, I can't see anyone. You're not supposed to see anyone, you're supposed to believe. This Yaqeen is not from here. It's from here, it's your faith, your faith to become so strong it will begin to make everything to manifest for you. Power of kun fayakun, the faith and the vision of faith they be trained in is that you believe. You're sitting with the shaykh, you see the shaykh, when you close your eyes know that he's present with you. From ibadullahi salihin, assalamu alaykum ayyuhan nabi wa salamu alaykum ya ibadullahi salihin. Allah giving you to the adab of make salams to them. And when you're making salams, feel them. And tahiyyat when you're stopping and after your, your, your prayers, feel the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Don't ask to see. Because that's what Sayyidina Musa asked, Ya Rabbi let me see you. This was tariq al-adab, against the adab of Sayyidina Muhammad is that, let me see you with my heart, let me to feel your presence, to know that you're there. I'm not one who's worthy of seeing you, negate yourself even in your ascension towards the reality. I'm not one who's worthy of, of seeing you. I'm nothing, I'm nothing, just let me to feel your faiz and your lights and your beatific energy. And all along the shaykh will be teaching you, negate yourself, you negate yourself, do not listen to your dreams, do not repeat your dreams, do not talk about your dreams. That is the world of fascination and what do they call khay khayra? Illusions. Illusions. It's an imaginary world like Alice in Wonderland. Anything can come to you, negate it, negate it. What you're asking from Allah is haqqaiq, that if Allah needs to send you a signal, your heart is tuned, you close your eyes and whatever is necessary will appear to you in real time, lifetime teaching you. If you do not develop that skill then you will be crippled by that and only wait till you sleep to see something. So this was? Entering into the oceans from mulhamma to mutma'inna, now nafs al radiya wa Allah is, is rida and satisfied dressing that servant, blessing that servant, that all their practices are, are rising in which they've been taught their bipolar state to stop. Don't be excessively happy and don't be excessively sad. Their mawt qabl al mawt entering into a state in which their heart is always flat. Not excessively happy when something good is happening and not immensely depressed when something bad happens. 
this state, this state of radiyah is that their heart is content with Allah their tawheed is firm with Allah that they know everything is in Allah's hands. So who is there to be happy about and who is there to be sad about? It's just a day and next day may be up or next day may be down. But everything is in Allah's hands. So it's an entryway into kamil and to perfection because they're completely surrendering their affair to Allah Ya Rabbi you have to feed me, I don't know how you're going to feed me, it's up to you to feed me Ya Rabbi I'm going to do my worshipness. Whatever Allah wants for you will come to you, whatever you want you're in conflict with Allah How do you know that's what Allah wants? So these levels are not like normal levels, these levels of taslim and submission they're rising and Allah teaching them tawheed, you submit, you rely only upon me whatever has been destined for you. Now we're entering into mardiya in which Allah will dress that soul, that nafs with its love, its Divine love Allah will dress you with what Allah loves. What does Allah love? Habib Allah, Nabi Allah, Allah touched His Divine Name to the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad It's a huge reality, not something you can even speak about. La ilaha illallah is attached to Muhammadun Rasulullah So then Allah in this ocean of love will begin to teach the servant what I love. Not what you love from dunya, not what you want to have or wish to have, Allah want to open for the servant what Allah loves. Means this state of marifa is now opening, the perfection of iman has dressed them, they're now entering into muqam al-ihsan. When Allah would describe the Muhammadan love, haqiqat al-Muhammadiyyah that I created everything to be known and I will be known through Muhammadun Rasulullah that alone the immensity of what does that mean? Allah wants to be known through what is the greatest, what is the most beautific, what is the most amazing, what is the most perfected. Allah doesn't choose something mediocre to be known by. But the most praised one in all of creation, my signs and attributes will be known through Muhammadun Rasulullah and Allah is as Allah has always been. This is just an, a, a reflection that He's dressing the servants from these knowledges that He dressed the servant and send them into the schools of training to be Ahlul Basira so that they've been taught with Ayn al Yaqeen. And not only the Ayn that when Allah opens Ayn al Yaqeen means the Ayn of ancient knowledges Al Alim. Allah Sifat al-Alim will begin to dress that servant because they're entering into the oceans of Abd, Abd, Ayn, Ba, Dal. Abd is not a slave, Abd is a servant whom Allah has granted Alim, he's an alim, a real alim, not one whom is an external scholar. They have not been dressed with Allah's ancient uloom, that's an external person. These are knowledges and realities where taqullah wa alimukumullah, where they're entering into these states and the realities of their soul and that Allah is dripping them into the Muhammadan haqqaiqs. Allah opened for them their ayn, their vision, as a result of their vision and knowledges coming to them, all these Divine knowledges are entering into their soul. At every moment Allah is dressing with His names and attribute beautific tajallis, majestic tajallis upon that servant's soul. 
As a result of that Allah is rising then the Mardiyah which is again a continuation of the haqqaiq dressing upon them, blessing upon them all the way to Nafs al-Safiyyah. And Nafs al-Safiyyah is content in the certainty of their vision in which Allah brings to the proximity their soul and Divinely Presence. Hardship and ease are one for them, this is the state of the complete self, its realities are Ayna Yaqeen and Haqqa Yaqeen. On oh, this was Radiyah, Saf Safiya is the complete in Ilmu Yaqeen flowing from them as a result of Allah dressing them from Ilmu Yaqeen, dressing them from Ayna Yaqeen, dressing them from Haqqa Yaqeen that what you know and when you see it, it's a truth for you. If you know it and you didn't spiritually see it, it's not a truth for you, it's just a knowledge. These servants, these souls Allah make their knowledge to be true. When they know this knowledge Allah through their vision will show them the reality in which they, they studied it. They contemplated it upon it and it became a haqq for them. So everything in the ocean of truth is dressing them. They understood that everything was from love and muhabbat and Allah dressed them from, قُلْ إِنِي كُنْتُمْ تُهِبُونَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّبِعُونِي وَيُّهِبُكُمُ الله. In this state their ihtiba and their following of the reality of the physicality of Sayyidina Muhammad their adherence to sharia, their adherence to tariqah, their adherence to marifah, their adherence to azimah, their adherence that they went and did everything to the best of their ability, then Allah dressed them from these haqqaiqs of Prophet and they are now a reflection of that reality and a reflection of the Muhammadan haqqaiq upon their soul and their reality. These are the final states of perfection on which there is no end. This level is, is a non-ending level, that this is the complete or the completed self becomes the mirror of the light of the essence of the Muhammadan reality. So they completely reflect Haqiqat al-Muhammadiyya The people of this station are of Divine love and passion. They are the leaders of the religious knowledge and they are lights of Gnosticism and Marifa and truth. Through the lights of their heart, the heart of those around them are illuminated and through their remembrance and mercy and blessings descend upon creation. Means from this level of dress and from this level of perfection Allah makes a mushid. They have to have eaten haqqaiqs. Means their whole food was realities. They have to have been trained in how to become Ahlul Basira and that Allah perfected their vision from every type of illusion and delusion. And as a result Allah dressed them and threw them into the oceans of haqqaiq means their uloom is true. As a result of them being true their whole soul governs their physicality. When Allah now make them to be the fountains of ilmu yaqeen. Ilmu yaqeen is through the power of the soul. If you listen to a professor at school pick up a kitab from awliya and talk to you, it goes to your head, has absolutely no power on your soul. This servant and this category it's not that you can read it and read somebody's journey in life. If you're not from that category and you're not of that reality where Allah says, you're in my proximity, I dressed you from all of these realities, now I've activated upon you your lisan and that when you talk it's an energy, it will revive the dead. 
As your energy come from you, not only it crushes everything false in somebody but it revives them from dead to life. At that level Allah give guidance. You can't come from here and say, no I'm going to guide people. What are you going to guide people with? This is why they want to train the level of uh, nafs for people to understand. Unless your nafs has gone into this up to the Divinely Presence, been dressed from ilmu yaqeen. There are people who have associations and they have no ilmu yaqeen. They say, we're hiding it for later. What are you hiding it for later? You can't speak nothing but ilmu yaqeen because your soul is in the presence and all that reflects is from where it is. Can it talk about something else? It's in the presence of that reality, all it speaks is that reality. You can't contain it and say, oh I'm not going to talk to you about ilmu yaqeen. Means, no, you're not from there, you're here imitating there. When Allah wound that servant, they come back down. Now this is directly related to seven verses of Surah Al-Fatiha. That's why Shaykh Daghestani Fadl Sallallahu Siru Sultan al Awliya said, Surah Fatiha contains all the uloom of Qur'an, all the realities of Qur'an Allah put it into the seven verses of Surah Fatiha. This level when Allah perfect that insan, they're from maqam al-ihsan, perfected souls, Allah make them to be Khulifahi Rashidin al Mahdiin wa Wuzarahi Kamilin. Right? Because they're inheriting from Allah, from Prophet from Ulul Am, from Sahabi, from Ahlul Bayt, from Awliyaullah, fi samahi wa fil ard. They're inheriting to be Khulifa of what? Sifat al Rashidin al Rashid. That Allah said, now at this level, I'm going to dress you for my names because if you read those, all those levels Allah's dressing their soul continuously with names and attributes. Angels come carrying the name and they enter into the soul of that servant at all times, all times Allah's continuously dressing their soul. When Allah says, I have a face at every moment a new tajalli and Allah when it Changing his tajallis for us to understand that illuminates Sayyidina Muhammad and all the souls from Ulul Am that are in that presence are at every moment being dressed by tajallis. Then a, a long time ago and now they haven't been updated. Their software is updated at every second and every minute. Whatever is coming from the Divine to the heart of Prophet is coming to the Ulul Am of this reality. So when Allah just said, now you are Rashideen, that Sifat al-Rashid that you'll have the secret of irshad, I will dress you from that reality. That your guidance because you're now inheritor of this hadith, I am the ears in which you hear, I am the eyes in which you see, I am the breath in which you breathe, isn't the wool of this that reality? They inherit, when you inherit from Sayyidina Muhammad what was the power of a Rasul? Why well, Allah sent Rasuls upon the earth? The tongue. Why? If the Prophets didn't talk, what would be the purpose of guidance? Just come follow me, we're going to go walk around? Tongue. But the tongue doesn't work if this doesn't submit. What's the benefit of your tongue if you're listening to someone else? So Allah taking the servant all the way up, so when I make you Rashideen, you inherit this hadith al-Qudsi. I will be the hearing in which you hear, means you're going to hear the perfection of my realities and your knowledge. We talked before about this is maqam al ihsan they see Allah and they see that Allah sees them because that hadith is two levels. Why Prophet gave it as if worship as if you see Allah, if you don't know Allah sees you. Shouldn't it be the reverse way that worship as if uh, Allah sees you then maybe one day you'll see Allah. Why Prophet gave the worse, the, first, the reverse way? Because its reality doesn't open unless you see Allah 
And then when you're seeing Allah they see that Allah seeing them in everything. So Rashideen means Allah giving them divine hearing and these awliya to their levels. What Allah can give is something unimaginable. Allah will give them is seeing, not eyes, seeing that they'll use here and they'll use it into the heavens and paradise on Yawmul Qiyamah. That they have divine breath and qudra, that every breath they're bringing in is of a divine power. They have the hands, Yadullah Allah SubhanAllah bi yadihi mulk. Allah Subhan, glory be to the hands that holds my kingdom. Allah praising His own hands upon their hands, in the ladina yubayyunaka yubayyun Allah. Glory be to those servants whom my hand is on their hand, means their hand has a power and a qudra. Their feet and their qadam move in the direction of Allah as a result Allah opened their mouth to, kun fayakun, their rabbaniyoon. If they want something they merely ask and it begins to happen. Why? Because their will is on the will of Allah the will of Sayyidina Muhammad and the will of all ulul amr. As a result what comes from their tongue has a power and a qudra. The Rashideen, so their face is open, their Qamarun, Mahdeen, that they have to be from the Muhammadan reality. Allah give them hidayat and they inherit that Hadiullah, they inherit from Prophet all the tools necessary to guide a servant back to that reality. Then Allah takes them from that ocean because this is Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, not here. This is dunya, this is the abode of shaitan. So what is this? This is your malakut reality, your, your nafs now entered into Divine Presence. Divine Presence is Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. This maqam Allah opening all uloom because Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem is the door to every reality. Who's the keeper of ulul bab? Yeah, Ali. Uh huh. Because this is uh, Madinat ilm Ali Babahu. This is Safiya. This is in the presence of the Divine Presence, which is whose presence? Presence of Sayyidina Muhammad to dress the servant of every realities. And his teaching is, Imam Ali is the gate, the gatekeeper of this reality. Why? He carries the secret of the ba, every reality of ba, because every all of Qur'an is in Fatiha, all of Fatiha and Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, all of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem in the ba. And these are ulul baab. Because these are all the categ different categories of awliya. Not everyone's a ulul bab, especially if they don't know it. So here is Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, this is the residence of ulul bab. You have to come to their door to take all these knowledges. Then Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, this is Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Means what's that mardiya? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen that their whole life they understood its power, its qudra was in the hamd, either in muhamd or hamdullah, right? Their life, their qudra, their power, their entire reality is in praise, their ahlul dhikr. They never met one who wasn't in dhikr because how could you be from Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Raleemeen means Allah didn't dress you but Siri Surat Al-Fatiha. You're somebody who don't sit in the zikr and you say, no I'm, I'm also a guide. And you're not sitting in zikr so it means you don't understand the secret of hamd. So Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman Ar-Raheem, Allah would dress them from Sifat Ar-Raheem, Salaamu Qawlu Min Rabbil Raheem. If you received salams from Sifat Ar-Raheem, you have achieved the realities of Sifat Ar-Rahman, the inner has to be pleased with you for the outer to dress you. 
When Allah want to dress the servant at that level, He's dressing them from the realities of Sifat al-Raheem, Sifat al-Rahman. Later ask who's Sifat al-Raheem, right? Ya Hasan, bahaqqa Sifat al-Rahman, Ya Rahman, bahaqqa Imam al-Hasan, Ya Ya Raheem, bahaqqa Imam al-Husayn salam. These, these names are dressing these realities, these are Qurat al-Ayn of Prophet Sifat al-Rahman and Sifat al-Raheem is the kamil eyes of Sayyidina Muhammad the two eyes in which Allah gave to govern this entire creation from these realities. These servants have to be dressed from the Rahman al-Raheem, they have to be dressed from Maliki Yawmiddin and the Sultanat of where they're approaching. If they don't know where they're approaching Allah will teach them, what is the Sultanat? You're entering into my Divinely Kingdom. Maliki Yawmiddin, iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nasta'een. They understood in Muhammad the worshipness, inspiration, the oceans of reality. And then what? How to lift out of Ammara, ihdina sirat al-mustaqeem. Allah taught them. You want to leave Amara, you have to be on Siratul Mustaqeem. So here Allah dress the servant by Ayat al kareem dress them, Fatiha is dressing them, it's alive. And when Fatiha dresses their soul, all of Qur'an is dressing them. Because everything that has to do with Maliki Yawmiddin, every verse in Ayat al kareem of Maliki Yawmiddin and, and the Malik and Sultanat and the sovereignty of Allah is in the verse of Maliki al Medin, it's like a fountain, all of them come from them. Every verse of Hamd comes from Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. So what? Ihdina Siratul Mustaqeem, here they'll know that keep your path straight to Allah Don't go left, don't go right, Allah will dress them in Lawama from Siratul Mustaqeem and that's why they're keeping their path towards Islam. Trying to keep on the straight and narrow, do what's right, what's wrong. And what's this one? Salat al amta alayhim ghayr al maghdub alayhim wala dalin. And that's why all the zawiyas are for the amara. The shaykh's door is here for people because he was here and he's been sent by Allah, go back down and bring everybody up through Surah Fatiha. Everybody thinks they're here, no, everybody came through the, the people who went wrong and all the people who angered Allah The zawiyas and their dawah were for the people who went astray and angered Allah And they brought them all, they bring them all with this power and this qudra of Allah And then teach them, keep Sirat al-Mustaqeem. Who Sayyidina Sirat al-Mustaqeem and Sayyidina Muhammad Keep the way and the love of Prophet Then begin to dress them, dress them, dress them, dress them and bless them. Their power is their tongue because they are the people of hub. Because all of these maqams, sorry we have to use a cane, these maqams, is the camera even looking there or just looking at me and they don't know what I'm pointing to? Or he's got the image on the, the image. no he has the image on the screen. These maqams, these three maqams radiya, mardiya, safiya is love, love and compassion. Their taqwa is love, taqwa is not being angry. These are people of hub where Allah dressed them from the ha and the bahrul hayat and all eternity is dressing them. Allah dressing them from the Qur'an, all the knowledges of Qur'an comes to the Ba Bahr Qudra. So means they are from the oceans of a Hayat and they're the oceans of power. Blue oceans of power are the Ba, they carry hub, they carry love, a Divine love. Don't ever think love is weak, love can destroy the entire earth in an instant. It's the most powerful force. People think anger, fire and hate is strong, it's not even a drop compared to love and muhabbat. 
of what Allah give the servant of love for water extinguishes everything. So they can put out any fire, they can put out shaitan, they can do anything Allah want them to. They're ahbab and they're the people of hub. As a result of their hub and their love, Allah granted what? When He says, Ya Rashideen and Mahdeen and I made you now Kamileen, I'm giving you a lisan. I'm going to give you a tongue. As a result of your tongue, your habl. Habl, hub with a la become a habl. <laughs> Your love will have a tongue. So that's why we said, what was Risalat? Was the tongue. When Allah want to dispatch somebody to be guided, they say, hold tight to the rope of Allah What rope is anyone talking about? Will anybody see a rope anywhere? The rope of Allah or the tongue of awliya, that their knowledge comes and whack, right into your heart like a, like a chain. And if you keep listening to their knowledges, keep listening to their knowledges, they're going to pull you up out of all these difficulties into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and inside the heart of Prophet is the Divinely Presence and the vision of Allah Subhanahu wa rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamu ala mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. InshaAllah from this then in the next few nights for Mawlid al-Nabi is the month of 27, the month, the third month of the lunar month Surat al-Nam. And the 27 has the secret of the missing Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, inna huwa Sulaiman wa inna huwa Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. That this understanding to be dressed from this maqam and these realities and the reality of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem to be dressed by its realities. We pray that Allah give us a life in which to see these nights and the blessings of Mawlid al-Nabi and all the fayas and blessings from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Rati Muhammad al-Mustafa of a siri Surat al-Fatiha. Don't worry if you didn't understand, I didn't understand either. So just you can watch it on Rewind. Click the link now to subscribe.